Hey everyone, uh, you might have seen my band uh, Mirophonics put a new single out uh, called Westbound. Um, really happy with how it turned out. Um, glad it's out in the wild, so to speak. And uh, in this little video, I just thought I'd show you just some of the sounds behind. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of synths in it. It's probably the most synth-heavy track we've put out so far of the of the three singles we've put out. And how the track initially started was Brian sent me through. You know, sort of the basic structure, you know, the chords and the melody, but in particular he sent through this sort of MIDI keyboard line which I really latched onto and I thought we could really build something like that. So this is, the original kind of line was just this. So that's obviously just, just the basic electric piano um, sound doing those chords. Um, and from there I thought, well, it'd be great to kind of really make something out of that. So one of the main sounds that I've used on the track, which again, if you've heard it, you can probably kind of can, can hear it, is the ARP Odyssey. Now I'm using all plugins, so, you know, virtual synths. So what it did do was to kind of, you know, to start building from that, was to just basically make that, copy that and use that for the, the ARP sound. So bringing in a bit more of a full sound is, that. Now, it's very, um, part of the inspiration of sounds like that is uh, if you've ever listened to much Weather Report, particularly Heavy Weather, um, they're probably their biggest album, that's, that, that's, the ARP is all over that, that album. Now, in addition to that, it also doubled it again, another instance of the ARP, slightly different sound, but with an arpeggiator to give it more of that kind of rhythmic forward motion sort of thing. <laughs> Etc. And that pretty much goes through the whole track. And it's just, you know, it's just such a really great sound, the R. I just, I just really love what it can do, even just pulling up any sort of stock sound and just... Another sound that I really like, actually, which is all over this track as well, to some degree, comes in and out, is uh, by UHE called Triple Cheese. It's a freebie plugin. The GUI of it is kind of like a block of cheese, and all the names of the um, sounds are, you know, to do with cheese or dairy products. Some sort of interesting sounds. This one I used a bit in in Westbound. It's a lot of this sort of random. Again, um, there's a little bit of uh, DX7 going on with that one thing as well. Anyway, so, so I use that one quite a fair bit. Um, and as you can hear in this, where are we here? This was the sound of this stuff going on. So those types of sounds are throughout it, as well as the little lead line, which you'll hear at the start and pops in and out. So that's the, uh, the triple cheese. That particular line, um, I was actually inspired by um, the Justin Bieber track, What Do You Mean? If you remember that track from uh, 2015? I think it might be 2015. Um, it's actually a great, great track for what it is. Um, and that sound is not exactly the same as it, but it's, it's reminiscent sort of, you know, of that kind of, and how it functions in the song, just a little, you know, little line. The thing on the Justin Bieber is that and this is just kind of the little, and a few other variations on it, which sounding like that is actually sounds very early 90s uh, GRP or Brecker Brothers. If you listen to those, like Return of the Brecker Brothers album um, and those things from the early 90s, there's a few of those kind of, um, electric wind instrument type sounds. So moving along to the to the latter part of the song, is if you've heard, again if you've heard it, the the second chorus has a bit of a breakdown into a um, section where well it's a breakdown and there's a lot of um, a lot more synths come in. So we get start adding a few things. For example, uh, this mini Korg, which actually came in the Korg collection, which is where they've got the ARP Odyssey plugin from. So there's a lot of this stuff we get in. Blah, blah, blah. And using some reverb to get a few effects like that. And then got some things that gives this a bit more of a vibe here too. Some dark bells. 
which I think from memory was actually the DX7 plugin. Um, I can't remember. I don't have it in front of me because I've bounced these all down to audio, so I don't have the MIDI right here in the session. Um, but they sound like this. Etc. Um, so altogether, there's a lot of there's a lot of sounds going on this. And then this breakdown section, which has a drum, big drum fill sort of thing. Yeah, so that's that's a bit of westbound keyboard production stuff. Um, yeah, what have I mainly used? Yeah, the Arp Odyssey, UHE's is triple cheese, a bit of the DX7 towards the end there, um, and just a like a stock Rhodes plugin. I don't even remember what that is. It might just be a Logic plugin. Hopefully you can check it out. It's all in the usual places. If you haven't, go have a listen and hope you enjoy the uh, what we've put into it. All right, thanks. <laughs>